I'm going to bet that you walk past some of these items and you just leave them on the table. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my bread and butter bolos, items that I sourced low and sold for $35 or less on eBay. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. There are 33 bread and butter bolos in this video. Let's get started. The first item, I bet that you would have walked past. Let me know in the comments, would you have walked past this soap? It is a bar of Kame or Kame. I don't even know how to say it. It's a bar of soap. It's vintage. It's from the 1990s. People love certain things and they they go, they're, they retire. They're no longer sold and people want them. This soap sold for $11.10 and I got it at the thrift store for $0.75. Cents. Uh, the buyer paid shipping on that. So they were all in for $17.38 for a bar of soap. The next item came out of a Dibble box, a toy box from Donatella Bot I can't talk. I'm sorry. Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. It was a $50 free shipping toy box. And if you want to see everything I got, that is over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. This one surprised me and it sold so fast. It's a baby gunned mini tink tinkle crinkle plushed worm caterpillar. And it's rainbow and it is super cute and it sold for $17. Uh, just a really unexpected item. Would I have picked this up if I was out and saw it? I don't know, but I'm really glad that I know about it now because if I see it again, I'm definitely going to grab it. This next item is uh, another item that I probably wouldn't have sourced. It came in a thrift store mystery box and it's a silverware pens refillable pen. Um, I, I don't know. I almost didn't list it because I, I don't know. It's just kind of a weird item. But I ended up taking a best offer of $8.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item here are these McDonald's costume masks. So these also came, um, nope, I'm sorry. I got these at a thrift store in these little bags of toys. And there was a mixed lot of toys in each one. And then I paid for this little bag, usually really inexpensive. I think I had about a dollar in all of these, but McDonald's toys do sell. I sold all of these for $15 plus shipping. Big money bolo. No, but a buck into 15. I'll take it. Here is another one um, that I had never heard of. They are cupcake dolls and it's like a silicone cup skirt. And they fold up into little cupcakes. Let me show you here. Um, I think I have a picture of them as cupcakes. There's the top and there's the side. So they're cupcake dolls. Super cute. Close up of the faces. And these also came out of a mystery box. And I sold these for $15. The buyer was all in for $23.65. And that was a uh, thrift store mystery box. The next item here is this dandy plush frog and his little head is lopsided, but he still sold. Um, got him at a Goodwill for $1 and I sold him for $11.25 plus shipping. This right here is a super fun item. It is metal. So like a die cast. It's from 1988. It's uh, the Coyote uh, Warner Brothers. It is marked on the bottom right there. And I can't remember where I got this, but I ended up selling it a best offer of $20 plus shipping. And if I remember correctly, that one sold pretty quick also. So this is a 1979 Fisher Price Husky Helper. I had no clue who this guy was. I had to use Google Lens to figure him out. He came out of a mystery toy box from the thrift store and I ended up taking a best offer of $9 plus shipping for him. Read and grow picture Bible. I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. It was still sealed and I ended up selling this for $30 plus shipping. So that was a great find. This is another unexpected item. Would I have ever sourced this? No way. Um, it's a 
uh, Manhattan toy, Adam Rattle Teether, Grasping Activity Baby Toy. And you guys, this flew out of my store super fast. It came out of that same $50 toy box, dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. And I took a best offer of $6 plus shipping. Now, this is a really um, major bread and butter. Like, it didn't sell for much. But uh, they messaged me. And I, I can't remember exactly what they said. But I think it was for, like, a rehabilitation center or something like that. It was something to do with, like, they needed this for something. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I was really glad that I listed it and I didn't donate it. So the next item are these vintage men's silver tone man fishing tie bar cufflinks. So you can see right here. Um, I, I don't know if that's fly fishing or just regular fishing, but super, super fun item. Got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold those for a best offer of $17 plus shipping. The next item here is this pump pumpkin and it's vintage. It's Halloween. I do pretty good with pumpkins. So I, I have a tendency to pick them up and I also get them in Halloween thrift store mystery boxes from my thrift store. So um, I usually will list these. This one I got at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for $20 plus shipping. These are um, vintage hand-blown glass rooster chicken figurines. Kind of a weird pickup, but I picked them up, got them at a garage sale for a buck and I sold these for $15 plus shipping. Uh, I talk about cross-stitch a lot. I do pick up cross-stitch. If it's a dollar or less, I don't even look it up. I just buy it because... More than likely, it's going to be a bread and butter item, and you just never know. There might be a big money bolo in there. I just sold one for $150. Of course, it wasn't this brand. It was a big money bolo, and I just did a video on cross-stitch kits that sell for big money. That one was actually a cruel set. Um, so check out that video. And this one, I can't remember what I paid for it or where I got it, but I sold it for $19.49 plus shipping. Probably a dollar or less on that one. This fox came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for it, and I ended up taking a best offer of 15. It is a squish mallow fox. Now, these are by Kelly Toy, and some of the squish mallows are big money. Most of them are bread and butter, but if you can source them cheap, I would definitely pick them up if you can get them cheap. This is a vintage winged dragon. Okay, this is just such a random thing. Um, it has like a hollow body. It says Hong Kong on the inside. This came out of a mystery toy box that I purchased from Auctions for Use YouTube channel. I do have her and Donna linked down below. If you need inventory and you want to source from YouTube online, it's a great way to source. And um, I've got a bunch of unboxings on my channel if you want to see those. This I ended up selling for $10. It's just a little teeny toy. And the buyer was all in for $16.36. This right here is another good story. Um, Oriental Trading Company. The Oriental Trading, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of that. It's usually like cheaper stuff that you can buy, I think, in bulk. But um, a lot of times they're marked OTC. But this is just a beanie elephant and her baby. And somebody messaged me and said that they had a book. Their kid had a book that this went with or that they used it with and they lost the stuffed animal and they had been looking everywhere for it. And I had it in my store. So I was really happy about that. Uh, 50 cents at a garage sale ended up taking a best offer of 10 plus shipping. This is a Coro vintage bracelet. I don't remember where I got it or what I paid for it. Probably a garage sale, probably a dollar or less. And I ended up selling this for $16.87 plus shipping. This is a vintage miniature heart padlock and key. Um, if you don't know, some keys and padlocks can be big money. So definitely do your research. This one's just a little bread and butter item. I feel like this came with something else that I bought, like a lot of stuff. Um, I didn't write down what I paid for it or where I got it. But I ended up selling this for $14.80 plus shipping. This is a vintage Goosebumps Screamer toy. It's a voice recorder from 1996. I got this out of a Halloween mystery box from my thrift store, and I sold this for $18.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Amy Lacombe Tex Cowboy Kitty ornament. And as you can see, I put defect chip. 
So it is even damaged and it still sold pretty quickly. So right here, if it wouldn't have been damaged, I probably could have gotten quite a bit more. I sold this for uh, $10. The buyer was all in for $16.61. This came out of a Christmas mystery box from my thrift store. This one I dug out of the Goodwill bins and I do have video footage on that over on this channel. And I sold this for on auction, $9.99 plus shipping. This is just a vintage wood Fisher Price replacement saw. This is a young reader's dictionary, grades one, two, and three. Um, I picked a whole bunch of these up at a garage sale, I believe. Uh, I want to say I bought like a bundle for a certain price, but I don't recall how much. This was a, a long tail item. I've had it for a while. I'm not going to I'm not going to sugarcoat that. It took a while to sell, but I sold it for $14.79 plus shipping and probably had a dollar or less in it. This little guy, I uh, got it at a garage sale for a quarter. I just thought he was cool. These are bendable, like posable. It's a mummy and he's five inches tall. Super, super cute. And I sold him for $11.10 plus shipping. I mean, would you have listed this mummy or would you have walked right past it? Let me know in the comments. This is a, oh, here we go. It is Daphne the Dash, or, oh. See, I already forgot. I told you guys I cannot remember anything. I thought it was Dotson, but it's, um, no, I thought it was Dash Hound. And then I thought it was, I can't even remember how this worked now. Dotson, but it's Dachshund, Dachshund. And somebody said it's German. So how's this? Dachshund. Am I saying it right? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, I'm doing my best here on these things. Trying to remember. I don't remember things really well. So trying. I do appreciate when you guys help me in the comments. All right. So this sold for $25.90 and I picked this up for $2. Um, it is a golf club head cover, but some, you know, you can stick your hand in it and make it a little puppet also. So you might want to put that in the title just in case somebody's looking for a puppet. 1981 Halloween mobile kit. This one also took a long time to sell. I got this at a garage sale and a bulk lot of Halloween items. And this uh, probably had about a dollar in it and I sold it for 25 plus shipping. Really cool item, but took the right buyer. This is a Dungeons and Dragons, the complete fighters handbook. I purchased a Dungeons and Dragons game and there were several of these handbooks down in the game. They didn't go with the game. So that was like a bonus. Uh, the other two, I believe, sold higher than this one. I ended up taking a best offer of 18 on this. The buyer was all in for $23.28 and cost of goods was probably a dollar less. So do you remember the Goodwill Bins video where all of the Victoria's Secret stuff came out and I filled my cart with a bunch of it and then I gave most of it away? Well, that was probably a mistake because I did keep three of these mini plush ornaments, gift card holders, and they sold super fast. Um, I think I ended up selling them for $12.50 each. Um, I probably had a dollar, dollar twenty-five a piece in them. And the same person bought all of them, if I remember correctly. But I had probably six or so in my cart and I gave three away three away and then a whole bunch of the little plush dogs. Um, I thought that eBay was going to be completely saturated with these because there were so many. If you go watch that video, um, I can't remember. I think I put in the title, I can't believe what they rolled out or something like that. It's pretty unbelievable, but I should have hung on and purchased more of these. So that was definitely a mistake. These are vintage bells, home for the hol holidays, Christmas silver plated ornaments. I got these out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box and I sold these for $15 plus shipping. This also came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. It is a PH, which stands for Princess House Lead Crystal Figurine, Wonders of the Wild, Buck Deer Figurine. Took a best offer of $17.50 on this and it was pretty heavy. The buyer was all in for $36.56. This is a vintage Fisher Price pull toy. It is missing the tail. Uh, got it at a garage sale for a buck and even damaged missing parts sold for 11.10 plus shipping. So that's pretty fun. 
These are vintage fuzzy flocked Easter duck chicken spring figurines, Hong Kong. Uh, got these at a garage sale for a dollar. People craft with these. They are flocked. Super, super cute. That's what it looks like out of the package. The person that bought this also bought this flocked apron. So they must have a thing for flocked items. This uh, apron came from a garage sale. It was a dollar. This is what um, it looks like here. It's kind of raised in some areas. Some areas are just stamped. Uh, sold this for the two items, the little chicks and the apron sold for a total of $49 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was 33 bread and butter bolos. So watch it back if you have to, but let me know which item stands out in your mind. Like she's crazy for picking that up. I never would have picked that up. I would have walked right past it. Drop it in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say because I have been known to pick up some weird stuff just to see if I can sell it. Thank you all so much for being here. If you're new here, thank you for being here. If you've been around for a while, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming back. There's going to be videos popping up here and here, down below, and a note over here, subscribe button. Subscribe if you haven't. I would love that. And thanks for watching.